Shalom and welcome to two minutes of Torah. This year is entitled, May One Who Keeps Rabbeinu Tam, 72 minutes after sunset, before he makes Havdalah, can that person ask someone who finished Shabbat earlier to do Malacha for him? Common case, many times. I'm in my own building. We have plenty of people in the building that finish Shabbat at about 45 minutes after sunset, and others that keep Shabbat till 72 minutes. So is any problem? Person who rides in a Shabbos elevator, for example. So uh, can you go ahead and have a friend put on the elevator for him and to put it up to the floor? Or put a light on his apartment. The lights went out. He calls his neighbor. You already made Havdalah. Put the lights on, please, for me. So we already had two parts in our mini-series here. The first part was talking about Erev Shabbat. Before Shabbat, one accepts Shabbat earlier. It's called Tosefet Shabbat. Person can ask a Jew or Gentile to do Malach of him. Then we have the time after Shabbat. There are more says in Reish Asamech Gimel in the end. He writes that a person can go ahead after Shabbat. If he keeps Shabbat long, he can ask someone, a Jew or Gentile, to do Malach for him. Then do with the Jew or Gentile. It's a lot with Tosef and Shabbat, the additional time that you added on to yourself. It's not as stringent. The rabbis did not make the Gezerah, the decree of asking others to do work. But what happens when you keep Shabbat till 72? Think of your family party, wedding event. You don't make Shab- You don't end Shabbat earlier. That's it. That's your opinion. Just like the one who keeps 37 minutes is not going to end it early for something. You don't end 72 minutes early. So that's not a Nishukhan of the Ramah, Mishra Burma, Megan of Ram, but the Shevra Levi in Chelek Aleph, Siman Nun Gimel, he does discuss. He says, if that's your Shita, you religiously, meticulously keep 72 minutes. You never wave out. Sometimes, no. You always keep 72 minutes, and that's your Shabbos. He brings an amazing case from the Magen of Ram. There were those that, because of a suffix question of what the real Yom Kippur is, they kept two days of Yom Kippur. Can you imagine that? Two days of Yom Kippur. He said, well, someone who keeps the second day of Yom Kippur, he really observes it. Can he ask someone else to do of him? Absolutely not. He says, so if that's the case there, so to hear. You hold this to 70 minutes, and you always keep Shabbat to 70 minutes, and that's your opinion? That's your shita? There's nothing to talk about. Then it's like in the middle of the day, you're asking someone else. There's nothing to talk about. All the Chumrot and the stringencies of Amir La'akum, asking a Goy, Amir Yisrael, asking a Jew, apply to you because it's your Shabbat. It is not like the case in the Ramah, uh, in the beginning of Reis Samachalof, at the end of Reis Samachimah, where you can ask a Goy, you can ask a Jew. Doing Tosef, that's Tosefet Shabbat, an additional time of Shabbat. Here, this is your Shabbat, Mamash. There's nothing to about. It's a very important halacha from the Holy Shepherd, Alevi Zetzal. Shalom.